is tied to another bird with a fishing line and uh, I don't know if it was wrapped around his neck or not. It was wrapped around his wings and there's still fishing line in his mouth. Oh gosh. If you look. Mouth, but it was yeah. on this side. Aww. He's moving his he's moving his legs and he, he was able to move his wings. But me and him rescued him about an hour ago and we left him here. He hasn't done anything. This is where he's been sitting. So I don't know if he's exhausted or what. Well, they're in North Miami and then they're going to come here next. So it'll take them a little bit of time to get here. But who's going to come? Someone's going to come here. The wildlife rescue. Oh, okay. Part of, the lead, part of the leader was still in his mouth, yeah. but there was only so much we could do. Yeah. Yeah, they just don't really they don't realize what, what happens. Now, they, can they actually... Um, can they actually treat them and take care of them? Or, I mean, do they just... Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know the one on State Road 84. You know, I'm not sure where it is. I just have their phone number in my phone in case I see this and then, you know, I could do something. So, because yeah. one time I saw a pelican and I couldn't help him. Yeah. And I, I just vowed when I go home, I'm going to put that number in my phone. So. That's awesome. I never knew there was a number. I'd... Yeah, I'll give That's it to really you if you cool. want. Me and, me and him, the, the guy out there with the green shorts, uh, we, uh, he was the one the that noticed them. Yeah. yeah. He was the one that noticed the two of them tied together. And the one was moving, but it was kind of dragging him around. So I don't know if he's got some kind of trauma or if he's just exhausted or what. Might have hurt his, his wing or his leg or something. He doesn't seem like he could fly or walk. No. no. 